let's get started. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Andrew or Andre Leducer, and uh, my projects will be based around uh, UDK. My first project will be uh, UDK cameras, so let's get into it. Uh, UDK is uh, basically the Unreal Development Kit by Unreal. It uses the Unreal Engine to host its amazing powers, and basically it's pretty crazy. Uh, so the Unreal Engine, to start a little background, it's, it's obviously a game engine by uh, Epic Games. It's used for many AAA games, such as Unreal Tournament, obviously, uh, Gears of War, Bioshock 1 and 2 uses it, uh, Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets, and eh, hope, open season, let's just, just not talk about it. Alright, so UDK um, is a free development kit up to a certain amount of money when you publish something, so us at New England Tech can use it pretty much freely. It's an award-winning development kit, you can make amazing games with it. So, uh, do you want to make a game? I mean, of course you do, but let's just not let's not make this one. So why don't we start off with uh, some simple things like cameras. Uh, so what I'm going to be going over is a first-person camera, a third-person camera, and a top-down camera. So clearly this is first-person. Uh, this is the normal camera in UDK, so when you just start up, their scripts are automatically set for a first-person. The third person camera, which is basically just your over the shoulder, no big deal. And also a top down. There's also an isometric camera. There's plenty of things. There's tons of like things that you can do with cameras too. But this is just to show the first like three basic cameras that we've done in the past also. But better in a 3D aspect. So instead of altering their content, which we can do to set up these cameras. We're going to go uh, and make our own mods to modify their cameras, which we've all done before. So once you have UDK installed, the, they give you a ton of stuff. And you go into the program files, wherever it is, go to UDK 2013, development, SRC. And here you have all of their scripts everything's in here just oh, there's so much stuff so uh, I'm gonna start with creating a folder in my mod and so I already have it here and uh, what you have to put into this folder is a classes folder because that's how they figure out where it is every single one of these folders has classes like nothing everything's strict so in order to have your own mod to modify their code you need uh, two specific UC files uh, my mod game which I have it as my mod because that's what I named my folder and my mod player controller. So game and player controller are the two things that is a must have for when you create a mod in UDK. This just so they know the game type, they know what you're doing with the controller, all that other stuff. So this mod is actually the third person camera. I'll just open all these up. So my mod game just it extends the deathmatch, you know, nothing. This is their first file. We've all done this before. So we have it the default pawn class and the default controller class to my mod pawn and my mod player controller. Uh this just shows what we're be gonna be using, which is both of them are in here. My mod pawn is the player and then my mod player controller is the controller, clearly. So let's take a look at my mod pawn. Uh, so, what these functions that I'm overriding are the camera functions and uh, the player's mesh function. So basically what it does is this sets up the player's mesh to be visible on runtime so you can see the player and it sets the camera from its first person just behind it to the third person. Now. As I understand, this third-person camera is actually already built in, so it doesn't take a lot to reconfigure very much. So, calc camera also just calculates the camera, adjusts the position, and default properties is just nothing 
out of the ordinary. So basically our two functions here are just altering its camera so we can look into the third person. So to get these to function, uh, we have to go into UDK, UDK game, and config. Now there's all of these INI files to know how to run, what to run first, and all, all of that junk. So we're going to go into the UDK engine.ini. And there is, I'm going gonna, gonna to look for Unreal Ed .editor engine. Uh, so we need to put my mod into this. So at the very bottom, because it's going to run last, because it extends from these, we're going to put mod edit packages my mod equals my mod. This will allow UDK to know like what to run and to run your mod. So once that's saved and all said and done, you're going to want to open something else that gets downloaded with the UDK editor called UDK Frontend. Uh, basically, since you have modified the game, you're going to want to do a full recompile just to make sure that everything gets settled, everything's compiled, just like hit and compile and build in Visual Studios. It's just easy and simple. So since everything's all set, we're going to go back to UDK, go into binaries, Win32 or 64, and we can click on UDK.exe, but that would take us into the third person. So we want to run our mod, the first person. So we want to run our mod. So in the top bar, we're going to do forward slash UDK, example map, just so we're not in deathmatch, question mark, game equals my mod dot my mod game. See here, I'm going into the my mod folder and finding my mod game. And we're not in the deathmatch like we were in the first person, we're just in the small example map that UDK actually has for everyone. So now we're on third person. And, uh, vehicles are automatically in the third person. There's no first person for them or top down. That's something that you have to alter out of an extension to what I have modified. So um, you don't have to go into example map. You can do DM deck like we were in earlier. should work properly. And then you'll be in a third person deathmatch. Pretty cool, personally, I think. Here we go. I also have a... So let's take a look at the top-down camera, because that will be our next. Basically, it's the same. It's top-down mod for me this time. So top-down mod game is the same as my mod game. It just switches for top-down. So top-down pawn... Mod pawn is actually different a little bit, just slightly, besides the uh, become view target. Uh, right here is where it really gets different because for the top down, we can't have our character looking up at the sky and shooting at us or even looking down. Um, so, what we do here is we restrict the player's pitch basically so they can't, so they're, they're locked in place so they can look around them but not up and down this is also the same basically also notice the pitch is back to zero pretty pretty simple for the top down once you do first person and uh 
same thing. Top down mod classes need to have those too. You don't have to have pawn, but for these edits you do. Then script full recompile. Also just to go over it again. Remember where we put my mod? It's the same thing for top down mod if you make another mod. Pretty simple. So back into UDK. Binaries, win32. Forward slash UDK. Example map. Map question mark game equals top down mod dot top down mod game you can even do a side scrolling camera uh, I mentioned isometric before all of these that are in this tutorial see now we're in top down mode I can't look up or down I can only look um, I did notice that this is always a place. This is where I think. Now I'm back to top down. It's pretty awesome. Uh, with all these cameras, what you can do. It's nice to see, like, to be able to have different sort of first person shooters. And there's all sorts of things that you can do with all these cameras that I found in this tutorial here. Um, all of this explains, like, camera shake and player controller, the pawn itself. It's a great source of information for all your camera needs. Side scrolling again. So uh, I'm going to leave all this source code up for everyone and write down this tutorial for you. And uh, thank you very much for watching.